<laughs> we, we are here from Mansfield Parks. Uh, I've got Sarah here with me today. She's going to do some special science experiments with us. Uh, I just want to remind you guys, this is not a live video. So some of our videos are live and you can talk to us and we will answer back on the video. This is not one. This is one of the recorded ones. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we will answer you. Um, but we won't talk back to you here on the video because we did record this ahead of time. But we are very excited to share this with you today. We are bringing you guys all the fun programs uh, and events and activities that the parks have to offer, but in your living room while you're stuck here at home. So today we are gonna talk about color and water and do some fun science experiments with stuff that you probably already have at home, right Sarah? Absolutely. Okay, so we have been working hard on this. I take that back. I haven't done anything on this. Sarah's got this all put together, so she's gonna teach us at the same time, because I haven't seen this yet, and, uh, and we're gonna learn, and we're gonna have some fun, and maybe make some messes, right? Oh, yes, yeah. we'll do that So, later. of course, uh, before we start any experiment, we always have the big reminders. Um, we always ask mom or dad before we do anything. Um, we ask them, make sure uh, what you use so that you're only using supplies that you're allowed to use and make sure you're in a good space. So we're using some food coloring today. So we definitely want to be on a surface that's okay to get dirty um, and on a floor that's okay to get dirty. So probably in your kitchen or in your bathroom, somewhere that's easy to clean up. Um, you also might want to use gloves. So if mom has uh, gloves for dishes or uh, maybe she has some gloves for gardening or something like that. Um, if you guys have any gloves, that's always good to use. Otherwise, you're just gonna scrub it off in the bathtub later, right? I forgot my gloves. <laughs> Sarah didn't use her gloves, she's already a mess. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna let her touch everything because she's already gross, so Pretty it's all good. Uh, okay, so we've checked with everybody, we've got our supplies together. We're gonna have a link uh, in the comments of the instructions for all of these experiments and all the supplies that you need. So if you guys wanna do it at home, you'll be able to do it. Uh, so right now, just watch with us and then you can do it on your own and be sure and post a video or a photo of your project so we can all see it. Yeah, Sarah's real excited to see oh, it. Oh yes, I'm very excited. Show me all your projects. <laughs> yes, okay, so here's our first one that we're gonna do today. And what is this called? This is called walking water. We're gonna watch how the water walks from one cup to another. And we can, we can see this because we're gonna dye each of the different cups of water a different color. So I've already kind of gotten some drops of dye in there and I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water. So these are just regular plastic cups, like throwaway cups. Could you use glass cups or plastic cups? Absolutely, whatever you wanna do. And I'm gonna fill it up about halfway. See that one turned a nice pretty red. I feel like I'm on the cooking channel. <laughs> right? Yeah, and they don't have to be see-through. So ours are see-through so we can see the colors, um, but they don't have to be see-through. They could be any kind of cups that you guys have at home here. Absolutely. Uh, that, that it's okay, that your mom says it's okay to put food coloring in. Oh, yes. For sure, yes. So <laughs> I've seen water walk like um, at a fountain where it like jumps from one fountain to the other, but we don't have any fountains here today. So how, how exactly is water walking? Water is gonna walk through paper towels. Oh, um, through sounds... paper. Through paper, exactly. Wow. So there's a there's a water principle called uh, adhesion, which okay. means all the water is going to stick to other surfaces. Okay, adhesion, that sounds like adhesive, which is what sometimes they call glue or tape or something like that would be called adhesive. Something sticky. Okay, so adhesion means it's sticking together. So that's a water principle is adhesion. Water sticks together to itself or? So a little bit of both. So adhesion is where water sticks to something else. Okay. And there's also the principle of cohesion, which is where water sticks to itself specifically. So okay. cohesion is a little bit more specific than adhesion, but okay. they're both similar properties. So is water, like when you get out of the bathtub and you're still wet on your skin, is that adhesion? Yes, because it's sticking to your body. When, okay. it, when it decides to clump up into a little water droplet on you, that's cohesion with the water sticking to itself. Okay, very good. Like when you're driving in the car and you see the rain droplets on the window? Yes. And the little drops and they look like they're dancing down? Absolutely. That's always fun. Okay, so that's right. that's the cohesion. All, All right. right, so this one is warm water. That's why you're seeing the steam. Just oh. fun fact. Okay. <laughs> so what I've done is I- Does it have to be warm? No. Okay. The rest are cool. I just ran out of okay. cool water. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> just checking for our friends at home so they know how to do it right. So I just cut my strips of regular paper towel into about one and a half inch thick wide strips. Um, and you're going to want to stick it into both both cups of water simultaneously so you can kind of see it's touching both bits of water and then we're going to continue connecting. I'm going to slide up here and move the camera down just a little bit so we can get a, an even better angle on this. Go here. for it. Very good. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, we're going to come nice and science. close here. Look at that. Close up science. It's like close up magic but more fun. Right? It's like real. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna slowly connect all of them. And you can kind of see that the water is starting to creep up those paper towels. 
hopefully the water will creep all the way up and will actually meet in the middle and you'll get a beautiful color combination. I like how we've got these all in a rainbow, but we could do whatever colors we wanted, right? Absolutely. Whatever. Oh, I have an extra one. Okay, so you guys can see, see how the color is starting to creep up on the sides of the paper towel? So that's the adhesion or that's the cohesion? It's a little bit of both. So it's, it's the adhesion because it's sticking to the paper towel, but because it's all coming up together, it's a little bit of the cohesion too. Nice. So this one's coming up. They're all kind of coming up. This purple back here is, you know, just very, very slow. slow. Yes. But we'll see. We'll see. So this is kind of the same as when, uh, if we spill something, we put a paper towel down on the ground and then we can watch that the paper towel turns pink like the juice or something Absolutely. like that. Absolutely, yes. But this way, instead of it just being flat, we're making it actually come up it's and come together. It's gravity. <laughs> it is defying gravity. That's what, which is another science principle, right, guys? Yes. You guys know that? Very good. It's also a cool song. <laughs> it is. It's very good. Okay. Look at that. We can see it. We can see it going. See, this one, this one right here. Oh, that's the first one you did. I was going to say, mm -hmm. that one's the fastest. It's almost like a race. Almost like a race. You yep. can kind of do this with, uh, like, a, a sibling. Have your brother or your sister <laughs> do it at the same time. And uh, both of you put your, your paper towels in and see whose color goes up the fastest. It's like a very slow... Slow and steady race here. Oh, yes. Very good. I'm just going to pull this all the way down. It's just a pen. It's okay. Right. I'll wipe it off. Very good. So we're getting it down in there deep so that we make sure that it's all in the water. Very good. And you can see as we go around, we're going to come around here to these. Yeah, other look at all the different today. colors. And you can see how some of them, like, see how on that blue one, it's kind of streaky. Mm -hmm. There's, it's coming in in little parts. There. Very nice. It reminds me of Jello, but it's not Jello. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just water. It's not. We're gonna come look over here at this red one. This red one is really pretty. Sorry. Whoosh. There we go. Very nice. So, what does this principle of adhesion do for water? Why is that important for water to have? Adhesion is is important just for how. <laughs> yeah. There we go. How generally water behaves. But cohesion is a little bit more important. Cohesion is where that water is sticking to itself. Um, cohesion allows things like trees to exist. So in order for water to get all the way up that big tall tree and all the way out to those little tiny leaves, it's going up really fine tubing, almost like the your body parts, like your veins and your arteries, that kind of thing. So okay. trees also have small tubing called xylem and phloem. Lots That's of technical word. terms here. I thought you were going to say roots. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so the roots are in the ground. The roots are the tiny little tubes in the ground. Mm -hmm. Or like if you see like a flower or something, when you, you pick it, it has the little roots that are all the tiny little like sneaky things like that, right? Yes. So those go all the way up inside they the plants. They go all the way up inside the plants, all the way up that big tall tree trunk and all the way up to the little cute little leaves. Right. Um, and in order for water to go up and defy gravity, just like it is here, um, the principle of cohesion allows water to do that. Because the water it's, sticks together. The water sticks together, exactly. Just so like with friends, right? We stick together. We stick together and we can do <laughs> hard things, right? That's exactly what we're doing right now. We're sticking together, we're staying home, we're doing hard things, and uh, we're, we're having a lot of fun. Okay. Look at boss. me. You just want to be on camera, so is it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's fun. Um, Still at 3.30? Okay, yes, I'll change that. Okay, no problem, thanks. Oh, the community room. Everybody calls this something different. I call it the multi-purpose room. I thought we were gonna call it. <laughs> yeah, because it's virtual meeting? Yeah. I think Coco's calling in. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. So they're kind of mixing. This, this is all water, but the color's not coming all the way up. That's okay, you're good. So obviously we're, Editing this part out here. We're editing this part <laughs> out. Right. Wow, I see it. Right. Okay, so I said, um, I don't remember what I said last. No idea. Mm -hmm. We're having lots of fun. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, um, all right. So the last bit that I would probably talk about this would be just that the water levels are going down in the cups because the water is going okay. up the paper towels. Good, so we can, we can start back up here. Mm -hmm. All right, that's an easier edit to have it be on something different. 
Okay, so just like the tree, it sucks up all that water to get all the way to the edges to the leaves, our paper towels, you can see, are sucking up all the water so that the color can get really high, like some of these here are getting really, really high. Yeah, and you'll notice that because that water is going up the paper towels, uh, the water levels in the cups are actually going down. So this is lower than when it originally started because the water has gone up the paper towels. Yeah, that one with the steam was actually the best you can see right where it started and then you can see it down. So the paper towels are drinking this water up. They're, oh yes. <laughs> they're drinking it up. And and this is a, um, you could also do this experiment if you had like a, a white flower, is mm -hmm. that correct? So you could put yes. a flower in and then see the, lead, the petals change color, but that takes a little bit longer. That one, um, takes a little bit longer for us to do. <laughs> so so we're, we don't we didn't really have time to do that one. So that's why we're using the paper towel and making these really cool rainbow paper towels here. Walking right? water. <laughs> Walking water, which is exactly the water walked from one to the other and it made it all together here. And you know what we could even do is, uh, here, watch, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make even more mess. Ooh, I did not like that. Yeah, good, here we go. Uh, so we're, we're gonna make a little bit of a mess okay. here. And look, you can take this and lay them out flat and let them dry like this. Whoosh. Lay them out just like that. They dry really pretty. Very good, yes. And look at how gorgeous these little strips are. And once those dry, they're gonna make really cool like bookmarks they would make. Oh, yeah. Um, or you could make an art project with them because they're gonna dry and they're gonna get, you know, kind of hard and, and crunchy. But, um, but they have the really cool ombre color effects going on here. So, um, those, we'll turn there and look at that. Isn't that pretty? So, um, I would say if you're, if you're going to, sorry, uh, <laughs> I would say if you're going to dry them out, probably put them on like some newspaper or, um, like a manila paper, some kind of paper that you can then leave it out. You could even leave it in the sun and, and let them dry out a little bit faster. Um, and we'll check back with these at the end so you guys can see what they look like all uh, dried out. Um, but these are our very cool ombre um, little strips of paper here that we made because we walked the water from one cup to another because of cohesion. Yeah, science. And adhesion, right? Yes, Adhesive. those were our words. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so our next experiment we have lined up here is more about water uh, and how it moves and how it makes other things move. But this time we're gonna dissolve some sugar, right? Yes. Are we gonna dissolve it in our mouth? Always. No, just <laughs> um, we're gonna we're be dissolving it. it on these plates. So the sugar is in the form of Reese's Pieces. Mmm. Yeah, she loves those Reese's Pieces. I do, I'm gonna turn the camera down so we can see the plates and a little bit some, better. And some jelly beans. Very good. So okay, jelly beans of all different pressure. colors and the Reese's Pieces comes in three different colors. Right. You can also do this experiment with regular M&Ms or Skittles. I know that Skittles work really well for this, but we're going to see how this goes. Very good. Okay, so the, the key is that we want a candy that has like the, the candy shell on the outside. The, the, hard, hard. the hard exterior sugar coating. Okay. Yes. And this is actually important. We want some warm water to be able to dissolve that sugar um, and hopefully move that color. So I recommend getting a cup of water and just put it in the microwave for about a minute. That should work. Um, okay. Obviously. And why does the warm water dissolve the sugar more? The warm water um, helps breaks helps break up the, the molecular bonds in the sugar a little bit easier than cooler water. Okay. Cooler water will still do it. Um, it's just going to take a longer time. Okay. Very good. Good to know. All right. So we've got our warm water. We've got our plates of sugar. And we put them in a circle, but it doesn't really matter like what order they're in or anything yeah, like that. So you can That's do just any design, for a different effect. Whatever you want. I just thought this would be pretty. So okay. I'm going to slowly pour this into the middle and I'm going to get it to where the water is touching all of, oh, there's a slant. <laughs> the water is going to touch all of the Reese's pieces, um, but not submerge them. So just need that last orange one or we'll just keep going. I'm just gonna fill up that plate. Oh look, you can kind of. I'm gonna get a little bit closer here so we can go see. for it. You can kind of see the colors already running. Very good. So I've chosen to pour in the middle so as to evenly say hello to all of the sugar. Yeah, you can see especially around the yellow and the orange. That, oh, there now the brown is starting to go too. So the molecules, molecules are like the teeny tiny little squares, almost like Lego blocks, right? That, yes. that make up something. So everything is made up of little molecules, right? Yeah, so everything in our known universe is made up of molecules and that's the smallest building block of 
of components. So the molecules are all stuck together, like you stick together your Legos. And then uh, when you put the warm water on it, it kind of loosens them up, just like you wash something and you can scrub something out or something like that. So the warm water just loosens them up and makes them softer. And then that's how we get the, uh, the colors that then start as the sugar breaks down, because the sugar is, is in those colors. Yes. Then that, um, that starts to make them spread. And you can see, especially on the um, Reese's Pieces one, that it's sort of in stripes. Yeah, look at that beautiful line between the yellow and the brown, and even the all three different colors. So why is there a line like that? It's just the two different colors they're meeting, and I think maybe the yellow got hit with the water first, and so it's, it's got a little bit more territory than the brown. But they don't blend together? They're, they're blending together a little bit more out here, but initially they're just like, this is my territory. Like, Give me my space. Because <laughs> they're coming off so strong, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's interesting that the yellow has more territory over here, but over here the orange is taking priority. You see that? And I think that's because that orange one was one of the first to get contact with water. Very cool. So again, if you do M&Ms or Skittles, you've got even more colors to work with. And, and that would be a fun way to sort of play with it. We've talked a lot about in our different experiments about um, how you use the um, scientific method and you, you try and change one variable and see what happens next. So that would be a way that we could uh, try and test out different things. So we could try different colors and see what um, how it affects it if you use a different color. We could try different water temperatures, so we could try and make the water really hot yeah. um, and see how that makes it different. You could even have a race oh, and yes. uh, like you pick a blue and then your brother picks a red and then pour the water at the same time and see who's goes first or who's goes fastest um, and all kinds of things like that and play with the different elements of it. We can see here too the, um, jelly, beans. the jelly bean ones. So the jelly beans are funny because they're, uh, turn the camera again then. <laughs> Sorry guys. So the jelly beans are funny because they, they have so many different like speckles of colors and things like that, that it seems like the, the darker colors and things are, are coming off of them. So I don't know if y'all can see than... it, but the, the jelly beans that have the speckles, so that's gonna be these three over here, are, are emitting those speckle colors. So that red is coming off a little bit, there's the red on top of the orange. I think that's like a peach jelly bean, I don't know. Um, the speckles are kind of coming off. What is surprising though, given that these three have speckles and they're, and they're emitting color, is that this one over here, this green one, which also has speckles, a pear, one of my favorites, mm -hmm. those speckles are not giving off any kind of coloration, which is interesting. Yeah. You can kind of see when we were, when we were twisting it, the, they are starting to, to loosen up and I think even hotter water um, would help these go faster or just letting them sit for a while. Very good. Yeah, for sure. I mean, definitely just while we've been looking at the jelly beans, you can see over here the, um, the Reese's, Reese's pieces. pieces. Going Look crazy. at that. We're going to get in zoom in close again here, guys. Sorry. For <laughs> Great camera skills here, but look at that, guys. Isn't that pretty? So that, all those different streaks, and so that's a, a different uh, places where it's come off and where it's loosened up, and so you've got all the different like lines of it there. Mm -hmm. I wonder even if we took one of them up out of the water, what the back of it would look like. I bet it's, it's lost a lot of that coloration. Do you want to go ahead and try it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we'll try this one. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Look, look how much of that color, that sugar coating has been peeled off and dissolved in the water. Absolutely. Isn't that pretty? It makes a really neat, um, really neat pattern and a really neat thing Yeah. to learn as we go. We could do a whole different combination of, of the colors. And if you're like, like she said, if you're working with the M&Ms or Skittles, you have a lot more colors to work with, make beautiful designs. Absolutely. Kind of okay. And our, our jelly beans, like we said, are going a little bit slower, but they are still going and, uh, and they are still putting off some of our colors again, especially our darker colors over here on this side. I wonder if the water was warmer when we poured over there or if it's just because of the colors that they are. Yeah. But the longer we leave them to sit, the uh, more they're going to change and grow. And so you can uh, do this in the morning and then go back and check on it later in the afternoon and see what's new and what's changed since then, right? Absolutely. Absolutely, okay. And then again, like we said, it's, it's a fun one to try and, and do all the different variables and, and see how different things change as you go. Okay, we got one more? We have one more. Okay, great, let's see what it is. Perfect, very good.
Okay. Mm, we're gonna have some fun with this one. This does not look as delicious as the Reese's Pieces looked. Looks so Sarah has a big plate <laughs> here. She has a plate that is full, but it is full of glitter. Ooh, yes, great. pretty much every color known to man. It kind of looks brown from far away, but it is all the colors, all the sparkles here. There's some blue, there's some pink, red, orange, green. All the colors. Okay, obviously. I love glitter. I'm, I'm game for anything glitter. This is dangerous. Glitter gets everywhere, <laughs> so I need everyone to understand that we are working with glitter. Yes. Okay. And again, ask your mom or dad before you do it. Yes. Okay. So this experiment demonstrates the principles of germs and how they move between people. Okay. So our glitter, all the different types of glitter, all the different, we've got striped glitter, we've got Big dots, little dots, all the different types of glitter represent all the different bacteria or germs that are out in the universe. Now it's not as pretty anymore. Nope. <laughs> it's not so pretty. I liked it better when it was just sparkly. Yep. Now it's germs. Oh, germs. Yeah. Okay. Gross. So what we're going to do is only one person is going to dip a hand in the glitter. You can get it all in there. She can have her fun. Herself. Oh, you're going to get this too. Don't worry. <laughs> No, no, one person, one person dips the hand. Up. I'm the supervisor. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's very germy. Look at that. Look She's just been playing in the backyard. So much fun. Touching animals. Love that. Probably like sniffling and like wiped her nose like that. Didn't cough in her elbow like you're supposed to. Yes. I went out and touched everything. So this is like what your hand might look like after a regular day before you washed your hands. Um, so we got a couple things to do. We are going to... Do a couple different <laughs> greetings. Oh, okay. So we are going to high five. Oh. No, I'm germy. So, so that transferred all, I don't know if you could see all the germs all the flying germs. everywhere, but now she we She gave both, me her germs. These are definitely germs. booger germs right here. I can see those. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> I can tell, I can tell. But if we were to just wave at each other, there's no germ connection between us. There, wave with, wave with my wave with the, so, Yay, yay, it's yay, clean for now. yay good. Yes, good, I like that one better. That's much better. Okay, so that was a regular high five. Um, now we're gonna take a regular, a regular day's work again, so without any transfer, and we are going to have a more formal greeting. We are going oh. to shake hands. So okay. my hand is disgusting again, Right. as discussed. Okay. We're going to shake hands. Oh, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How, How are you? Oh, great. Thank oh, great. you. I'm, I very... was better before I got all these germs on my I'm hands. I'm sure she was. Yes. All right. Okay. Long, awkward oh. handshake. Now she's got my booger Look. germs. More booger germs, and they're on the back of my hand this time now, too. Yes, because I was very attached to Not them. a good choice. <laughs> Not a good choice. All right. Then we've got one last... One last greeting. Okay. I'm sure a lot of our fans. More germs. <laughs> she keeps going back for the there. germs. Oh yes, we're getting our regular day's worth of germs. That's a little bit more. That's like down on the farm germs, okay. I think. She's like, we're down on the farm today. <laughs> I think that's all a regular day with no washing your hands. No you washing your hands. You the bathroom, you played outside, you touched all the things, you didn't wash hands. All right, so we did a high five. Mm -hmm. We tried waving and there was no germ exchange. Waving was much better. Very mm -hmm. good. And we also did a handshake. Now our mm -hmm. last one is a fist bump. Okay, that seems like it's better because you're not really touching your hands, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh. oh. So she's still have, the germs. So she doesn't have any germs on the inside of her hand from me explicitly, but she does have some on now the outside. So if she were to wipe her face or mm -hmm. or touch her clothes and then wipe her face on yes. her clothes, those germs get transferred to her face. Yes. And the thing about germs, like like the glitter, once you've got it out, it's it's everywhere. It gets all over, it gets in all the things. So that's why we gotta be super careful about washing our hands and um, trying to avoid getting, getting our germs there. to other people. Yeah, because we don't we don't wanna be sharing our germs with our friends. I like Sarah, but I want her to keep her own germs. <laughs> I don't want her germs. Everyone should keep their own germs. Absolutely. Very, very much so. Yes. So, so like the glitter, germs are, are kind of difficult to remove. Um, so if we go like this. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Like, that's she's been I'm doing. wiping it on my, and you know what? I've been wiping it on my pants, which is great because it looks like it's mostly off of uh, my hands, but it's all over my pants. And my so, pants. <laughs> yes, and the desk and the chair. So now I've just spread my germs everywhere. Spread germs everywhere. Okay. You can get the bag. We're just wiping off here. And, and with pretty vigorous brushing, wiping, I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's still a ton of germs on me. I don't know if there you can are. see all of the glitter, but it's all over me, all in the, the different cracks and, and nooks and crannies on my hand. Um, so that's not really an effective way of staying clean and right. being hygienic. 
Absolutely. And you know, it's funny, like, so mine look a lot better from far away, but when you get up close, you can see all the little sparkly points because the germs are teeny tiny like that. So you might think you brushed them off. Okay. Like Sarah's hands are obviously a mess. She's gross. Um, but my hands look clean, but they're not because the germs are still there. They're still stuck there because all I did was wipe them off on my pants, which was not a good choice either. So if you, if you do wipe them off on your pants or if you just go like this all over your clothes, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> you get them everywhere. You get them everywhere. And, and then you bring them home with you. And, and if you play at home or if you lay in your bed, now all those germs are in your bed. Um, so just like this glitter that we've got all over the, the desk here. You guys probably have it all over your counter. You probably have it on the floor. Your mom is probably going, what the heck did you do? Why is there glitter all over my house? <laughs> uh, and you tell her you're learning about germs, mom. It's very important stuff. Absolutely. Lots of germ learning here. Um, so it's really important to, to stay hygienic and, and wash your clothes and, and wash your hands. Because, <laughs> yes. because just like this, um, even with regular just running water, that won't get all these pieces of glitter off. It won't get all the germs off. It's really important to use soap and the water and really get in there, wash for 20, 30 seconds, something like that. Absolutely. And then dry them too, because that helps get more glitter right. off. Right, <laughs> absolutely, very good. So now that we've talked about how those germs, like the glitter, get on everything and transfer everywhere and back and forth between our friends, we're gonna talk about why it's so important to get rid of them and how you can get rid of them, right? Because once you get it on you, it's on you forever, right? You have the germs forever? Forever and always and always and always. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but how are we gonna get rid of them? Okay, so we have a fun experiment that you guys can do at home. We're gonna use glitter again. If you don't have glitter, you can use pepper. That works just as well. It kind of smells peppery, but, <laughs> um, and it's not quite as sparkly, but but it totally does work at work also. Okay, so Sarah's gonna show us what we're gonna do here. All right, so we've just got a plate. It's got a one thin layer of water all the way around it. So the water touches all the way around the circumference. It's a big word. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna take just some glitter and just sprinkle it on top. We're not pushing it all the way down. We're just sprinkling it right on top, on the surface. Very good. Glitter is floating. Mm -hmm. I'm going to also use some green glitter because I think nice. it's exciting. Mm -hmm. And like germs. And that's that's the booger germs. It's oh the yes. Glitter. Mm -hmm. So you gotta really be gentle so that it doesn't go below the surface. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, the green Ooh, is soft so and sparkly. Pretty. Very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera so we can get a close-up shot. So we're gonna see. So these germs, these germs are like they're on our hands, right? So they're floating on the surface of the water, like how they would be floating on the surface of our hands. So this is why your mom and dad and teacher and everybody you know tells you, wash your hands with soap and water, right? Oh yes. So so between my friends and I, we kind of have this joke saying if it's good enough for the ducks it's good enough for me so this soap is clearly good enough because it's got the cute little duckies on it absolutely but what we're going to do is we're going to take a drop of this dish soap any dish soap should work and we're going to stick it right in the middle of the glitter germ all right and this should happen so a big glop of it or just a teeny tiny bit ah we'll see okay here we go oh that was a teeny tiny drop. It was. it was really quick. So, so if you can really see in there, I'm not sure yeah. if you can see it. There's a there are a few pieces of glitter that got trapped under the under the soap, and so they're trapped underwater. But all the other germs, all the other pieces of glitter, are now around the perimeter of the water. They want nothing to do with that soap. They saw that soap and they said, "Uh, uh, I'm out." Right. Very good. So look at that. So you add some soap to your hands. And what's gonna happen? All the germs say, no. Oof. So yeah. soap is really cool because it, it attracts, it, it, excuse me, it doesn't um, repel water and it attracts all the germs. So it doesn't necessarily kill all the germs on your hands, all the glitter on your hands, um, but it pulls it away from your hands and, and allow, through the use of water, you're able to remove it. Absolutely, sort of like a little magnet. You put the soap on your hands, all the germs are gonna stick to that soap, and then when you put the water on your hands to wash your hands, to wash the soap off, uh, then all the soap is gonna stick to the water too. So all it just vacuums all the little germs right up, and just like on our little tray here where they all ran away scared to the edges, they're all gonna run away scared and get off of your hands. And that is how we're gonna keep from passing all of our germy glitter to our friends. Yes. Because we are friends, but we don't, we don't wanna share germs. I don't want her booger germs. I don't want her outside germs. Well, I don't want her booger germs. 
boogers? Well, I don't have booger germs. Oh, but sure. Thank you. Sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> very good. So this is a really fun and super simple uh, experiment you guys can do. Again, it's just a paper plate, some water, and then either pepper or glitter, and a tiny bit of uh, the dish soap. And teeny tiny bit, right? Super teeny tiny bit. It doesn't have to be done. Uh, if it doesn't have docks, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> any kind of the regular dish soap, just not the um, the powder kind, right? Like that you put in the dishwasher. Correct. You want like the regular, the liquid soap the that liquid you would soap. do for that. Um, but again, we'll have the instructions for that um, with all of our other experiments in the comments. Uh, we hope you guys try these out. We hope you had fun with us. And uh, we can't wait to see what you come up with. So be sure and uh, share some photos and videos. Um, of your experiments in the comments with us. And if you have any questions, let us know. We will be sure to get back to you. And we can't wait to see you guys again soon out in the parks. Bye, Sarah. Bye.